Hello everyone, uh, I hope you're well and enjoying or perhaps surviving the hot weather. My name is John Bolitis and it was my honour a few weeks ago to be elected Chair of Shepherd's Well with Coldred Parish Council. And this short video is the first of what will be a regular report and updates about the work of your council. Now the Parish Council has limited powers but it can make a positive difference to people's lives. And it can also act as a voice for local people. And as your new chair, I am committed, along with other councillors, to both communicate the council's debates, decisions and activities, but also to listen, to listen to your input, your ideas and suggestions. The council meets on the third Wednesday of the month and there is always time allocated for residents to raise questions or make comments. So come along to the parish council, you will find it a welcoming place or if you would like to contact me, my email address is on the screen. Now in this video, I report some decisions for important decisions taken at the council's meeting last Wednesday. It was a long meeting and I can't deal with everything, but I will mention these four important items. The first item to report is the Sibbets World School minibus project. Mark Lamb, the head teacher at the primary school, addressed the meeting and I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of all of you if I thank Mark his staff and the governing body at the school for the fantastic work they are doing on behalf of the 200 pupils and their families at the school. Mark explained to the parish council how in the last two years, the school has campaigned to raise funds for a minibus. The bus will provide transport for swimming lessons, sporting activities, to work on community projects, and generally to help the children get to useful outdoor activities as much as possible. The school has raised £26,000, for the most part from parents and friends, as well as accessing the available funding. This is a fantastic achievement, but it is still some £13,000 short to purchase the minibus. So the school has asked the parish council for a donation and Mark Lamb outlined a partnership. As well as serving the needs of the school, the minibus will be available on designated days and times for residents in our two villages and our various groups to be used. Um, the, in other words, the minibus will be able to be used by our societies, by our sport clubs, but also we would have an opportunity to try to organise regular trips, for example, during the summer to the shops or to, the, or to nearby uh, uh, towns. Um, certain days the minibus will be delegated for use, assigned for use to the school, uh, both Shepherdsville and the primary school in Elvington. On other days in the week, the minibus will be assigned for use by the community. Now, after hearing Mark, the council passed the resolution that you will see on the screen. But the council is minded to make a significant financial donation to this minibus project. Although the final decision and the amount to be uh, agreed will be made at the July meeting after a consultation with you, the parishioners. We recognise that uh, a donation of a significant amount of money might be controversial for some, but we feel, or certainly I feel, that this is a very worthy project that should be supported. The Parish Council received £7,000 uh, from the contractors for the use of Reed Meadow whilst building the Community Land Trust project. Uh, in community land trust development on Cox Hill. That money, for example, could be assigned to the uh, 
the minibus. So the council will make a final decision next month, but we want your views, your opinions. Um, you can put your views in the comments. We will be launching a, a Facebook poll and looking to put a comment box in the village hall and perhaps in the co-op as well. And of course, you can always contact your, um, your, your parish councillors. The second item to report is some important news about our parish clerk. It was announced at the council meeting that Colin Turl, who has been our parish clerk since January 2017, will be standing down. Um, his final day of work will be the 31st of August. And on behalf of all our villagers in both Shepherdsville and Coldred, I'd like to thank Colin for his service and for his hard work for our communities. The Parish Council has already begun a process of finding a replacement. We will be advertising the post later this week. We are seeking an energetic person with appropriate skills who is above all committed to serve the local community. So look out for information about this post and if you know of anybody who would be a suitable candidate, encourage them to come forward. The third item I want to talk about is road safety and the highway improvement plan that councillors have been developing. The Highway Improvement Plan Committee has been working hard and drawn up proposals to improve pedestrian safety and also to deal with the problem of speeding in Shepherdswell and Coldred. And the plan, which is drawn up by the committee, has been presented recently to Kent County Council. And I want to thank particularly the members of the council, particularly Keith Roberts, Susan Tabor, Lynn Sines, and Barry Crush, and also the former councillor, Mog Overden, who have helped to draw up this plan. Some of the key points are on the screen, although there are some others as well. The, the, the plan involves arguing for 20 miles per hour zones in Cox Hill, Churchill, West Court Lane, and also the area around the school, as well as parts of Coldred Road and Halfway Street. It argues for a curved pavement on Cox Hill to separate pedestrians from vehicles instead of the white line that exists at the moment, and also argues for the reduction of the 40 mile per hour speed limit to 30 miles per hour around Golgotha and also the road between Shepherdsville with Coldridge. As I say, our team is in discussion with Kent County Council about these initiatives and hopefully we will have more news to report soon. Whilst talking about road safety, can I also thank our Speedwatch volunteers for their work on monitoring the traffic coming through our parish, particularly Richard Woods, the coordinator of the Speedwatch team. You will see on the screen a report from the Speedwatch team. In the May and June period, they clocked a car driving 48 miles per hour in 30 mile per hour limit. In the previous period, they clocked a car driving 64 miles per hour in the 30 mile per hour um, um, uh, uh, zone. Uh, all this information is collated and all of it is used as evidence to back up our argument for more road safety measures to be taken place to be implemented in our villages. The fourth item I want to report is Coldred Pond. Uh, a report was given to the council from Marion Elgar of the Coldred Forum. The pond is a feature that enhances the beauty of Coldred, but also is a feature that enhances the beauty of the whole surrounding area. It encourages wildlife and also helps prevent local flooding. Unfortunately, as you will probably have seen, the pond is losing water. The liner needs replacing and most probably other groundworks need to be uh, done on the, on the banks surrounding the pond. And this work will cost a considerable amount of money. So the Parish Council has, has agreed to work with Coldred residents to explore opportunities for 
grant funding. Um, we are going to discuss the Coldry Pond further at our next meeting, our July meeting, which takes place on Wednesday the 19th of July, appropriately enough, on Coldry's Village Green. So if you come along to that, you will hear more about the plan to um, uh, renovate Coldred Pond. Finally, there were a number of other items, important items that were discussed that there's not time to report on here. The council has a working group to look at the use of the recreation ground. The council also signed up for a scheme for solar panels for the village hall. We heard a report from the community warden, Juliet West, um, quite, a, quite a detailed report. One, one worrying um, item in her report was about a scam involving photographs of missing pets, which have been uh, posted up on social media. Um, and we also heard from our new local district councillor, uh, Maria Mamja, um, a photograph of her there on the, on the screen. We're looking forward to working for Mar for, with Maria, who lives in Elvington um, on a range of issues in the period to come. As I say, the next meeting is on Wednesday the 19th of July on Coldry Village Green, note the time, 6.30. So that's all. Have a lovely day, stay safe, keep well, and hopefully speak to you soon.